Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one. And welcome back to Robocop Rogue City, where we found Officer Briggs, unfortunately too late to save him. The weird thing is that his body was stuffed inside a freezer, along with a whole other bunch of bodies stuffed in freezers. The Street Vulture Gang are doing all of this on the orders of Vendel Antonovsky, and the question is, why? What, what do they need with all of these bodies? Robocop, all available patrol cars are coming to support you. I've told them to meet you by the old workers' building. According to reports, it's part of their headquarters. And Robocop, I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you can forgive me for the freshman attitude. I was just trying to do my best. Oh yeah, Washington. New kid. Member of uh, the Detroit Police Department who was basically hired by Becker from OCP to snitch on me. You know, he's, he's alright. He's a good kid. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Oh. Snipers. With 50 cal BMG. Ugh. Right. Fortunately, I did pick up this... I'm not sure what they call it in-game. It's basically a Steyr Aug. And it does come with a built-in scope. You know, it's kind of weird because they've got all these faithful representations of actual weapons in the game. I mean, these snipers are using Barrett 50 cal, semi-automatic 50 cal rifles. I've got a Steyr Aug. There are various different Uzis. There are, uh... Oh, hang on. Listen to what Spike has to say. Yeah, these things hit pretty hard. But yeah, they've got all of these accurate representations of real-world weapons in the game. The Steyr Arrow, the Barrett 50 cal BMG, there are various different Uzis, there's uh, Heckler & Koch G3s. But despite the fact that these are accurate representations of real weapons, they don't give them the real names. Which is kind of weird. Also, this thing is not that accurate at range, despite having a... Oh crap, there was another one there. I should have probably killed this guy first and then sheltered from the other one behind the rail car instead of standing there getting shot at by both of them. Gonna have to use a recovery charge. Yeah, those things hit really hard. I'm down to one recovery charge. The weapons that these snipers are using, by the way, the... Uh, whoa, let's get into cover. Um... These Barrett 50 cals. They were famously used in the first Robocop movie by the Bodica gang uh, here in the steel mill in order to try to take Robocop down. I'm not entirely sure, but I think at the time the Barrett was the only 50 caliber rifle available on the market and it was really, really new and looked, you know, science fiction y. A lot like the. Sh oh, hello. <laughs> A lot like the Steyr Aug here, uh, which famously in 80s action movies tended to be the kind of weapon. Well, Die Hard, for example, um, where, well, not the, ch not the chief bad guy, that was Alan Rickman's character, Hans Gruber, uh, but his chief henchman, all of his gang used MP5s, except for this one guy who used one of these, just to differentiate him from the rest of the henchmen. Uh, and he was the special henchman, so he had to have a spacey science fiction weapon, and that was this thing, the Steyr Aug. Um, but the Bodica gang, in the first Robocop movie, all used Barrett 50 cals. Which didn't act in any way like Barrett 50 cals, of course, because they fired high explosive ammunition. <laughs> you know, one shot would blow up a car, for example. One of the gang just got himself a brand new SUX 6000 car. And Clarence demonstrated the, uh, the anti-Robocop gun by blowing up the car with one shot. You know, it's the movies. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of this thing. Although it's probably better at taking people out at range than the Auto 9. I'm down to 36% health again, and I have no recovery charges left. There were a bunch of recovery charges scattered around this place that... Oh, shit, there's another one. Uh, that I didn't pick up, though. I just need to remember where they are. I'll try to get to them without getting hit again. Can I shoot him through here? No, of course I can't. Well, it was worth it. Got him. Took another hit though, back down to 20%. It's at moments like this where I'm starting to wish I'd really invested some points in the vitality talent so I could regenerate my health from fuse boxes. But I didn't. So where's the nearest recovery charge? 
I think there was one up here in this office. I really hope there is. Because I really, really need one. Crap, there isn't. Anything down here, maybe? Thing is, the recovery charge doesn't even get me back up to 100%. I think it only recovers something like 60, 70% of my health. I mean, it's better than nothing. Hmm. I think I might need to retrace my steps. Because I'm pretty sure that there were a couple of charges. Roughly in the area, sort of back where I found Briggs's body. Let's have a look at the map. There is a chest. Not that far from where I am. Because you come across these OCP chests that have got chips for your PCB motherboard for the Auto 9. And there's always a recovery charge in them as well. But if you're full on recovery charges at the point where you find the chest, you don't pick it up because you're full, but the recovery charge stays in the chest. So if I can find one of them... Where does this take me? Hmm, off this part of the map. At the moment, my objective is to regroup with the police squad because despite the fact that this old steel mill is firmly outside of Detroit PD's jurisdiction, uh, the kid, Ulysses, has said basically to hell with that. And he sent in a, a squad as backup, but I have to make it to them. Like I said, Ulysses is, I mean, he might have been hired as a snitch, but he's basically a good kid. And yes, eagle-eyed viewers, more eagle-eyed than me, there is an actual... 50 cal sniper rifle lying on the ground there, dropped by one of the snipers whose heads are removed from his shoulders, and I didn't see it, and it would have been really, really handy to have in this part of the game. Certainly would have been way better at taking out these snipers at distance than the Steyr Aug, which I probably don't have an awful lot of ammo left for. But I am crap. You wouldn't have me any other way. So, backtracking to where I'm pretty sure the map indicated that there was an OCP chest that probably still has a recovery charge in it. And then I come across something extremely unwelcome. Respawning enemies. That's another 5% of my health shaved off. Where's the other one? I know there are recovery kits here in the landmine. There he is. Gotcha. I'm just 101 XP away from getting another uh, skill point as well. Yep, there's definitely something in here. There's a chest right there. How do I get to that chest? It's not like I can jump. I'm Robocop. Uh, oh, great. How do I get that? Nope, can't go through there. on. Oh, there's a door. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> oh, come on, no recovery charge? I mean, you know, weapon upgrade chips, fine, but I really need a recovery charge. Were there any lying around here? Because I think, yes! Recovery charges. Oh, fantastic. Okay, two. Let's use one. I might have to use another. I was at 15%. It took me up to 70. So it only... Wow. It only does 55%. Wait, was that a heavy machine gun? Uh, I mean, ordinarily, I'd be all over that, but it's not really... It's not really the ideal weapon of choice for dealing with snipers, is it? Yes, I know I did walk past the ideal weapon of choice for dealing with snipers, but I am crap. So I'm still relying on the AUG, and I don't even know how much ammo I have left for that. Right, anyway, um, at least now I have some health back, and I have one spare recovery charge. So now to regroup with the squad, bless them, that Washington sent me as backup. And I have never been so grateful to see flashing blue and red lights. It doesn't look like... Oh. Uh-oh. 
Ed 209. How is that going to be good news? Hey, Robo. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, Kowal. Hang on, what's she doing here? All right, let's talk to Kowalski. Good, you're here. We're standing our ground. The bikers have retreated to the yard behind that big gate. Now, let's decide on the strike team. I go on my own. No need to risk lives. OCP has supplied us with an ED-209. Maybe you could make use of it. Even if it is just for cover. Robocop, can I have a moment of your time? Can you leave him alone, lady? You caused him enough trouble already. Hey, I just want the people to know what's going on in their city. Can't say she isn't good at what she does. She got here before us. Anyway, it's up to you. If you need a bit of time to speak with her or wrap up anything else around here, it's not a problem. Those bikers aren't going anywhere. But if you're ready to go, Ed 209 is here for your support. Just say the word. Uh, give me a minute. I need more time. No worries. We got them boxed in. I need to talk to this journalist. Oh, I can resupply at the police car. Hey, just spare me a second. Thank you for coming over. Could you tell the Channel 9 viewers what you're struggling with here today? Are you looking for more footage of me malfunctioning? Don't think poorly of me for recording that. People want to see how their hero's holding up. I am just a police officer. Modesty. A rare feature in this city. I'm not against you. It's the OCP that's my target. You are a troublemaker. At least I do it for the truth. How do I respond to that? I mean, you know, she, she makes a good point. She is on the side of truth. And I do it for justice. Then we seem to be not that far apart. We had a rocky start, but it wasn't personal. I'm only here to show the truth before others try to cover it up. Don't you think we owe that to the people of the city? Again, she makes a compelling argument. I do. The steel mill is the hideout for the street vultures, a gang of bikers who have committed multiple homicides. They have barricaded themselves in the factory's yard along with their leader. We are preparing to go in. Thank you. In that case, I will not hold you any longer, unless there's anything you would like to add. Tell me anything you know wouldn't hurt. Do you consider the entire OCP to be corrupt? Believe me, I really wish someone could change my mind about that rotten den. Who knows? Maybe it can be you. Yeah, I doubt it. My duty awaits. Of course. Yeah, I mean, Ortiz, I mean, she's caused some trouble for me by reporting on my malfunctions, but she's only telling the truth. She doesn't seem like a bad person. Ready to get this cop killer? Yep, let's kick the tires and light the fires. Their time is up. I am going in. Good luck, Murphy. Another 80s action movie quote there. Let's see who recognises. Oh, it doesn't give me the opportunity to resupply before... No, fine. Ah, right. Efficiency challenge. So I have to beat the Ed 209 in biker kills. Oh, I'm not feeling good about this. <laughs> Ed 209 and Robocop fighting hand in hand? I can't wait to see how this goes. Well, so far I appear to be smoking Ed 209. Six kills the one, seven kills the two, eight kills the three. Oh, he's <laughs> Um I, I mean, uh, this is one way of adding a bit of competition here. I mean, it seems like utter carnage. How many guys are expected to stand up to me in an Ed 209 enforcement board? I have no idea. Uh, but I am certainly grateful for the backup. I do need to be careful though, because I do only have two recovery charges. And I also have questions about this. Why would OCP send an ED-209 to back me up? I mean, the police aren't supposed to be in this area at all. This whole 
industrial area is out of oh recovery charge is awesome it's supposed to be out of police jurisdiction technically they're disobeying orders by sending anybody to back me up here in the first place so why would OCP who don't want anybody here send an Ed 209 I've got a really bad feeling about this. Why did I... I was trying to pick out a controller and punched it again the time I've done this before. <laughs> I'll probably do it again. Anyway, shields up. Ah, oh, Ed 209 wins. You got the last kill in the last second. Ed 209 won that round, huh? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I kind of was expecting that. <laughs> Let's face it. I'm not known for the accuracy of my gunplay. Oh, it looks like I'm kind of on my own from here on in. What with Ed 209 being defeated by a staircase. <laughs> okay. No, you don't punch the door. You press E to enter the... I'll keep doing this. New objective. Arrest Spike. I'm guessing you're close to catching Spike. Maybe he could lead us to Wendell. If those two struck a secret deal, no wonder Wendell ditched the punks. Anyway, be careful in there. I wouldn't be surprised if that slime had more tricks up his sleeve. You know, something that just occurred to me. Oh, what's going on here? How am I getting over there? We'll figure... Oh, right, through here. Um, oh, another recovery charge. Nice. Where are all the police officers? Because the most senior cop at the precinct is Sergeant Reed. There's no police lieutenants, there's no police captains. There's just OCP stooges like Becker. Did OCP actually fire anybody higher than the rank of sergeant and replace them with corporate suits? I mean, I suppose they must have. Anything in here? Oh, yeah. Come on, give me the good shit. Okay, there's a recovery charge in there if I need it. And I picked up a few more weapon upgrade chips. Let's see. Because I, I really kind of need... Because there's one special upgrade that I really need a, a T-shaped... There it is. Perfect. A T-shaped chip that points down to activate... Ah, oh, bollocks. It looks like if I take that massive damage upgrade... And who doesn't want a massive damage upgrade? It also comes with a 10% debuff. It's unavoidable. Then again, I mean, massive damage is nice, but it also means I can't score critical hits anymore. Can I? No. It just, it looks like with this circuit board, if you want that massive damage upgrade, you have to take the 10% debuff to all of the other skills as well. And nah, nah, I'm good. I'm happy with what I have. Right. Arrest Spike. He's not that far away. It's just getting to him. Another recovery charge. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to waste a recovery charge just for 1% health. I mean, technically it's not wasting because I'm going to pick one up straight away to replace the one that I've used, but I might, I might need that. Hello, it's me. Oh, there he is. I thought there was another one. Oh, and another one. Right, anything useful in here? And where the hell's Spike? Oh, more bad guys ahead. Boom, headshot. We're we doing another breach here? We are. Oh, big room. Don't like big rooms. Lots of bad guys in big rooms. I'll take advantage of the slow mo while it's up. And uh, let's just use cover to take them out one at a time. Rather than fighting them all at the same time. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hold still so I can shoot. Oh shit, grenade. Yeah, I did all right there. Only down to 83%. Still not low enough to actually use one of the recovery charges. Anybody else? Oh, why did I turn around and walk into the grenade? 
Oh, it didn't actually do any damage. It must have been far enough away. Okay, there's a lot of stuff down here that explodes. There's an awful lot of stuff down here that explodes. Let's have a look up here. Ah, some evidence. You get experience for every piece of evidence that you pick up, which is nice. Oh, and I have a skill point available. There seems to be stuff all over the place down here. There's like landmines and explosive canisters and lots of things. I'm going to use one of these recovery charges now and pick that one up. Oh, and there's no way back up. Oh, this is a boss room if ever I saw one. All right, let's check everything. Oh, another... Come on, baby. Give me some new shit. Okay, so there's a recovery charge in there I can pick up. There's recovery charges everywhere, actually. Yeah, this is a boss fight room. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know exactly how, but this is definitely boss fight territory. It can't end like this. Murphy, you got the cop killer. You decided to trespass on our turf, and that shit doesn't fly with us. What's that noise? Please put down your weapon. Have 20 seconds to comply. The situation is under control. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Stand back. I'm doing yep, here it, it is. I'm, Anybody who's I'm seen the first here. movie knows what's you about to happen five here. Seconds to comply. Four, I said three, everything is two, under control. One, Ed, I stand am now there. authorized to use physical force. Yeah, this will be that boss fight I was expecting. Hey, what's going on over there? I am under attack from Ed 209. What? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Let me see if I can help. I'm pretty sure I saw its documentation here in the precinct. Uh, be right back. Right, so, here's the thing. On paper, this whole thing has all the elements that you might expect of a boss fight. I mean, there's stuff flying around all over the place, there's explosives that you can throw at him, there's a generous supply of recovery charges, and there's all kinds of cover. However, there are a couple of factors that make this the lamest boss fight I can remember encountering in video game history. First, look at the amount of damage I'm doing to Red 209. Even when hitting the weak spot. And then look at how much damage he's doing to me. And there's only so many recovery charges available in here. And while I can pick things up and shoot at, come on. Um, while I'm holding things, like for example this, I'm under fire, and there's an excellent chance he's gonna hit me and it's gonna go off in one hand and do damage to me in one hit. So and bear in mind, I've maxed out my vitality and armor. So you've got a boss who's basically a colossal and completely overpowered bullet sponge. Who, even if you're hitting him in his weak spot, basically takes no damage. And is armed with 20mm auto cannons <laughs> that do huge amounts of damage to me. So. I mean, I'm down to 46% health here. I've got one recovery charge left. There are a couple scattered around here that I can pick up, but... I mean, this is just... Initially, I thought, oh, I'm, I might be onto something here, because he's not really doing any damage to me while I'm in melee range. But I'm not doing any damage to him, either. And then I thought, well, maybe I'm supposed to circle strafe him, because, well, you know, Ed 209 isn't particularly agile, but if I'm circle strafing him, I can't be hitting the weak spot. And I'm trying to use every single tool available. I'm using my stun, I'm using my shield. I've got no recovery charges left. I'm back down to 61% health. 
and even the explosives aren't really doing an appreciable amount of damage to it. It's just the lamest boss fight ever. So after failing this first attempt, oh and now of course it's firing rockets at you. <laughs> I mean I was really struggling and I don't think it was just me because I went and googled this whole fight and a lot of people were struggling at this exact point. But then a couple of things happened. One, I kind of gave up. I didn't play the game for a day or two. During which time, the developers did a patch. And I didn't see anything specifically mentioning, in fact, I'm not even sure that I even read the patch notes. Uh, but I think they've either reduced the overall amount of health that he has, or they've reduced the amount of armor that he has, so that your bullets do actually do a reasonable amount of damage to him. But the reason I didn't bother checking out any specific details in the patch notes was because while I was googling this fight, I discovered... Well, I don't even really want to call it a strategy <laughs> for taking him down, because it's just the lamest tactic imaginable. So we're going to skip to my second attempt to beat Ned209 in this boss fight, and I'll show you the tactic that works. Are you ready for this? Hope you're sitting down. Here we go. Seconds out. Round two. So, Ulysses has just told me about the alleged weak spot. You don't need to worry about any of that. All you have to do is stand behind this wooden crate. And you'll notice there's definitely patched something because I'm actually doing damage to him now. He's already lost a third of his health. And you're more or less untouchable back here. It is that stupid and that simple. Remember earlier, I was hiding behind these concrete columns and he was just blowing them apart. But he can't shoot through. <laughs> he can't shoot through a wooden crate. <laughs> it, it really is this dumb. I've almost killed him already in less than half the time a couple of days earlier that it took me to shave off 25% of his health and I still have two recovery charges <laughs> I haven't even had to pick up additional recovery charges it's this stupid worst boss fight ever it's really disappointing because the game is very very good but they just they just don't know how to do boss fights I mean I'll take it because it beats the alternative Happened here. Ed 209 malfunctioned. Uh, is is he still alive? I am afraid not. OCP sent us a malfunctioning unit. I bet they did that on purpose. And what about the other cop killer? Where did Spike go? Wherever he went, justice will find him. Yeah, not the game's best moment. I there's no getting around it. That was kind of crap. And having played almost through to the conclusion at the point where I'm actually recording this video and having run into Ed 209 again later on I mean I'm straying into spoiler territory here but there is another boss fight with an Ed 209 later on in the game and it's even worse than that <laughs> I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound you need to be a little more specific honey her name is Lewis she is in a coma oh, second floor Take the elevator. Right, let's go see how Lewis is doing. Don't forget, she was shot, like, yesterday by Antonovsky. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm sorry. Oh, no. No! I would not be at all surprised if while we were in the hospital, because this is an OCP hospital as well, by the way, if there wasn't a bit more evil mega corporation social commentary going on here. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir, please calm down. 
Oh, there it is. Not as humorous or satirical as I, was, as I was expecting, though. I mean, you can see, you know, this is where all the poor people get treated. Crammed on the trolleys in the hallways. Hello, what's this? Secret admirer. You wouldn't answer and I was dying to tell you that policeman was here again. He left chocolates for her and asked me not to tell anyone it was from him. When that poor policewoman wakes up from her coma, the guy seems nice except for that awful haircut. Are they talking about Lewis? Guy with an awful haircut waiting for her to... That sounds like a member of the Torchhead gang. Lewis might be in trouble. Let's have a look around though. Because I'm expecting some of that heavy-handed satire rather than just a simple blunt, oh look, there's loads of space through there where the rich people get treated and all of the people without insurance are lying on trolleys in the hallways. Kind of disappointing. I was expecting a bit more. There's the officer on duty outside Lewis's hey, room. Hey, Murphy. She's right in here. All right. Another visitor? Let's see how she's doing. She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them, even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. Somebody's stealing bodies from the morgue. The vultures were storing bodies in freezers. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. I sense a connection. We must investigate. Still a bit disappointed that they didn't take the opportunity of a corporate run-for-profit hospital to get some of that heavy-handed political satire in. You know, the sort of thing that the Robocop series is known for. Which they have done in this game. Feels like a bit of a missed opportunity. Anyway, let's head down to the mall. Oh, oh. Blood pressure. I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 6.15. Another flashback. Uh, this is probably the hospital where Murphy was brought. Um, wait, they have a magazine in a hospital? They have ammunition stowage? <laughs> But yeah, this is probably the place where Murphy was brought um, after the Bodica gang did a number on him, hence the flashback. Robocop, what a surprise. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you're preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. 
anything else. That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. Okay, so a couple of things. First, the obvious. Somebody stealing bodies. But only bodies that haven't had any kind of brain damage. And the vultures were storing bodies, and though I wasn't checking for it at the time, I didn't notice any obvious head trauma on the bodies that the vultures were storing in freezers. So, probably a connection there. But the other thing, this is an OCP owned and run hospital, and the police department are also OCP owned and run. Somebody stole 30 bodies from an OCP hospital. Nobody's reported it to the police, so the hospital management kept quiet about it. Why? Why is this the first the police are hearing about it? Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the MORGUE. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught their leader. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late 40s, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. There it is. There's the connection between Antonovsky and OCP that I was looking for. Antonovsky is stealing bodies from the OCP hospital. He's also got the vultures storing bodies for him. And OCP did not want the theft of the bodies reported to the police. Antonovsky is working for OCP. Now we just have to figure out what OCP wants with a bunch of dead bodies with intact brains. One way or another, I'm sure we're going to find out, just not today, because that's it. Uh, despite the extremely underwhelming boss fight with Ed209, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.